Hello friends, it is Tuesday, the second week of Lent, and the title of our devotion today is In the Lord's Army. We're being directed to take our Bibles so that we can open them to 1 Peter 3 and then reading 18 through 22. If you'd like me to read this for us today, if today is just not a day where you can grab a hold of your Bible, no problem. If you can get a hold of your Bible, go ahead and press pause and look up this 1 Peter 3, 18 through 22 passage and we'll read it together, okay? Either way, we're about to read it right now. 1 Peter 3, 18 through 22 says this, For Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the spirit, in which he went and proclaimed to the spirits in prison, because they formerly did not obey. When God's patience waited in the days of Noah, while the ark was being prepared, in which a few, that is, eight persons, were brought safely through water. Baptism, which corresponds to this, now saves you, not as a removal of dirt from the body, but as an appeal to God for a good conscience through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who has gone into heaven and is at the right hand of God with angels, authorities, and powers having been subjected to him. I love that we're going to talk about baptism today. I'm so excited. This is the second, third. I think this is the second of our, so I do three recordings of devotions every day and, and our children and family one dealt a great deal with baptism. That's kind of a heart wrenching story today. So if or the devotion today is a little bit, ooh, uh, a little pinchy in the heart a little bit. So if you want to go over and check that one out, definitely do it. So I'm so excited that this gets to be a second um, devotion that we get to talk about baptism. I love that. I love it so much. Um, so our devotion does say this, it says, do you like boats? There is nothing like floating above a glistening body of water on a beautiful sunny day. This just instantly conjures up this idea of uh, when I was um, a senior in high school, our family moved and we, we moved to a house that was on a lake. And so we had a boat and we got to we got to be on the water and it was always so much fun. And so when this talks about um, there is nothing like floating above a glistening body of water on a beautiful sunny day, Amen. There is nothing like that. It is wonderful. You know, as a baptized child of God, you too float, redeemed in the blood of Jesus above the flood of sin and death. Although your body is subject to sin, death, and decay, you are not anchored to an eternal, tormenting death in hell. No, you will be carried by God's holy angels to the shores of heaven and Abram's bosom. That's a note that we have from the Lutheran Study Bible, uh, 708 colon three. Oh boy, I'm gonna have to go and check that out afterwards. Okay, let's keep going. With Jesus as your pilot, you no longer fear judgment or his glorious coming. That's not a fearful day, that's a happy day. Many congregations illustrate our floating life in baptism by the design of their church, especially the area where people sit called the nave. The Latin word nave is where we get the English word navy. You are safe in God's ship of holy baptism. Just as U.S. Navy ships protect this country, so the ark of Christ church keeps you buoyant, secured, and saved from all dangers outside the boat. And now friends, our prayer is actually a very familiar hymn. If you recognize it, you go ahead and say it along with me, okay? Okay, let's pray. Jesus, Savior, pilot me over life's tempestuous sea. Unknown waves before me roll, hiding rock and treacherous shoal. Chart and compass come from thee. Jesus, Savior, pilot me. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen. I love you so much, friends, and I will meet you back here tomorrow. Bye.